Good. 43 years young, still doing it. 44. 44? Yeah. Where's the Astra? Uh, I mean, January, we're going to be four, so we're two months away, so you might as well call it 44. You might as well. You might as well. What keeps yeah. you going? Um, just feeling like I still got it and feel energized and, um, you know, love the competition, love what I do, so that's it. Tell me a little bit about George Groves. You mentioned you've seen a couple of tapes, seen a couple of fights. Has he got anything special, anything you ain't seen before? No, nothing I haven't seen before. He's, a, he's, you know, he's, he's a, a young guy, he's, you know, got some upside. To him. Got some skills, but nothing, um, nothing unusual. Nothing special. There's no wow factor. <laughs> when you have you looked back at his career and anybody he's fought, anybody that you think yeah he done well to come through that? I mean, the biggest fight for us is James the girl. No, I'm, I haven't seen anybody for that. I'm impressed with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he hasn't he hasn't tasted anything like what he's going to be up against against you. Right? Oh no, no, not at all. How do you expect the fight to go? Aside from you winning? Well, you know, I know that he's going to try and do what he do and I'm going to break it down and win. That's it. Tell me what you've been doing in, in training. Anything different? Any, anything changed from your preparation? No, I'm, I'm working on a few little things, a few little kink here and there. You know, some stuff that I needed to improve on. And, um, you know, I've got those things down now. Glenn, you were 32 fights deep before you got a world title shot. Um, that's not what's happening these days. He's 15 fights in, another three or four fights. If it goes his way, he'll probably be in line for a world title shot. Tell me about the way that the sport's changed in that respect. Is that a good or a bad thing? Does it matter? Um, not necessarily good or bad. I don't think it does. I don't think it matter too much. I mean, you know, if you have what it takes to win it, you win it. You go win. You go get it. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I, I looked at your career and it was 12 fights. I think before you even fought. For over 10 rounds yeah um why was your well, well, I, I'm, I, I was coming up slower because i had less talent uh, you know i stopped boxing when i was 20 years old yeah. so you know for me most of my early fights was on a learning basis i was still you know learning on the job basically so you know this guy that probably started at a younger age so he have a longer amateur career so he's able to take on stiffer competition earlier you know, for me, I started late, so I, I took on soft competition early, and then after after I got enough experience, I took on straight s stiff competition, as you can see, I fought everybody in the yeah, world. Sure. Tell me a little bit about some of those those big fights you've had. Which was the, the, the toughest one? And if you could go back and fight one again, would you do anything differently? I mean, the toughest fight I had, I would have to say Bernard Hopkins, and I definitely do something differently if I can get him in the ring again. Do you think that'll ever happen? He seems like he's up for it. Um, I don't think it'll happen because they have many chances to do it and he always find a way out of it. So, Are you still aspiring to be a world champion again? Oh, definitely. And do you think that's within your reach? Oh, definitely. When you look at the division and the, and the guys that are running it at the moment, who impresses you the most and who would be the most difficult prospect if you was to get in the ring with them tomorrow? Um, uh, the most difficult guy is Andre Ward. Um, you know, what is it about he's him? the most talented. He got a lot of talent, and he's a smart fighter. You know, he's, you know, he adapts super well. So, you know, he's a good fighter. What about Carl Froch over here? Would you, how'd you rate him? Um, Carl Froch is up there as well. You know, he's a pretty good fighter. You know, me, Carl Froch's biggest talent, I think, is just being a tough guy. The last question, um, Glenn, is this the 50th year of independence of Jamaica? A lot of celebration went on over here in the UK. This would probably be the last thing that they'd be looking for to, to kind of round the year off with a, with a nice twist. You going to do it for them? Oh, definitely. Have you, have you managed to get in any celebration? Um, you know, I got some celebration in my own way, but I didn't go down to Jamaica and do all of that. But I celebrated um, at home. Maybe after the fight you can go back. I'm definitely going back after the fight. How long for? Probably about like two weeks or so. Oh, you're lucky, man. Thanks for your time. Appreciate Thank it. You. <laughs>